to these island tags by Mimi Fashionista. I'm loving that name, first of all. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the mirror, not at the camera. So she tagged me and she actually gave me questions to answer, which is I say that's why I think I said that before, only tag me if you have questions that you ask, because I can't do those five random facts things. I did them twice and there's you guys know everything about me already, so um let's get started. There's eleven questions. They seem kinda interesting. They're like not normal. So, number one, what hair products do you use? You don't know how many times I have been asked this. Oh my goodness. Like, well, okay, I switch around between two products. Let me get it. Hold on. Okay. What I use is, um, I use this coconut milk shampoo, but it has lots of protein in it or something, and you're not supposed to do that a lot. Then it'll make your hair dry and stuff, so I barely use this. I use this maybe like once every two weeks because I have another shampoo that I use. I use Sun Silk, yes, they changed the color of the bottle. They don't have the, they don't have the Sun Silk for the curly hair shampoo kind, so this is just daring volume. I like my hair to have volume. It already has volume, but I like extra volume. Because that's pretty and that's the style. So, yes, I use Sun Silk Daring Volume in coconut milk shampoo, rarely. And then for conditioner, I always use coconut, coconut milk conditioner. It smells good, first of all. Oh, smells good. And it works really good, so yeah. Um, and then when I get right out of the shower, when my hair is still wet, I like, I, right when I come out the shower, I wring my hair out in the sink, and then I squirt like 20 squirts of this. They changed the bottle. It's smaller. Cost like $5 a bottle, and that's just ridiculous. But it's for captivating curls, and it works really good. It's styling cream. So yeah, that's what I use for my hair. And I hope that is a good enough answer. I hope I don't have to answer anymore. So yeah. The next question is, have boys ever approached you and asked for your number? I think once when I was like, but I was like nine. I always say that. I always say I was like nine. Yeah. I was in the dollar store and he he asked me how old I was and I ended up being like three years younger than him. So yeah. And yeah. So. I avoid them. I do. Especially now that I have a boyfriend, I don't need that. Um, what was your favorite year in high school? Well, was. I wish I could say was, but I am still in high school. And I am not liking it. This is okay, whatever. Boom, my best. What is my favorite so far? Neither. I'm a sophomore now. I'm in 10th grade. And I didn't like 9th grade whatsoever. 10th grade is better than 9th grade, but 9th, 10th grade is still not so good. I don't think school will ever be good. I don't think I will ever have a favorite year at all, because it's school. So yeah. How old am I? I'm 15 years old. I will be 16 on on April 26th. Can't believe it, but yeah. My favorite color. Well, I have lots of favorite colors. I have, I like, my main favorite color now is pink used to be red. I like pink now. Some way it just transferred into pink. And then my second favorite color is red. And my favorite combination colors are black, white, pink, black, white, red. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was a corny glass, but whatever. Okay, let's see. Have you ever thought about being a cheerleader? I was a cheerleader. Yes, in fifth grade I was a cheerleader. I spent like a year doing it. It wasn't really cheering for a team, really. I didn't get to that point. They were training us and I stopped, but you could still continue. So could continue, but I decided to stop. So, yeah, it was boring. What's the craziest thing I've ever done? 
This is a very hard question. I have done many crazy things. Um, and when I do things that, like I met, no, I met the music and I said, forget that. Crazy thing. I would make that blooper, but I'm too lazy. Craziest thing I've ever done. Well, I guess it would be having a boyfriend in the Bahamas. <laughs> yeah. Very risky, but I'm taking the risk. Because it's, he's very nice. Yeah. Hey, Kari. Okay. Do I listen to hip-hop or R&B? Yes, I do. I listen to lots of types of music. I listen to... Well, hip-hop, I don't even know what hip-hop music is, but I listen to R&B. If hip-hop is rap, hip-hop is like a type of dance, so that's not even a uh, type of music. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, R&B, yeah, yeah. Um, do people jerk where you live? Yes. As a matter of fact, like, earlier this year we were running on the track, and my friends were doing it. When I do it, I look like a, like a, <laughs> a toothpick. I don't even know how to do it. So yeah, see? Yeah, I don't do it because I look like an idiot. So yeah. No, I don't. I don't do jerk, but people here do it. I think they still do it. Is that still on fire over there? Have you ever been to California? No, and I have no reason to. I'm on the whole other side of the country. I know your hair is natural, but for African American, non-mixed hair, is there any way to get it like yours? No, there's not. I don't know, I don't think so. You'd have to experiment with my products. Experiment with my sun silken coconut milk conditioner products and you tell me, okay? But my hair feels different, it's like, like, really, really soft. And it's not like, crinkly like that. It's like really soft and it's got, it's kind of oily, so I don't think so. It could, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I can't switch my hair into African American hair or whatever you call it. So, <clears throat> I don't know. You have to, how about you answer that for me? You do it and tell me. So that's all the 11 questions. Thank you, Nini Fashionista for those questions, because I actually have a reason to make a video. So yeah, thank you. And comment, rate, and subscribe to my video.